Hi, it's Mr. Mac, and in this, our seventh in the series on math skills you need, we're going to be looking at uh, different types of measurement and how we have limits to measurement and errors in measurement and the different types of errors. This is Mr. Mac. He can explain things really well and is a lot of fun to watch. You can subscribe to Mr. Mac's physics channel. You will find mathematics problems, science demonstrations, astronomy and space pics, physics calculations and simple explanations of advanced concepts. So here we are, we're determining errors of measurement. And we're learning to determine that there are different types of errors of measurement and we'll be able to find the absolute error of measurement, the corresponding limits of accuracy, and the percentage error. So let's measure an eraser. And here you can see an eraser with a ruler next to it, and pretty clearly it's five centimeters. If we want to measure the length of that, we can easily use a, a ruler with centimeter markings on it. For this eraser, we can read the measurement of length as five centimeters. But what is the absolute error of this measurement? And how do we find the corresponding limits of accuracy? And what are the different types of errors? And what is the percentage error of this measurement? So let's have a look at those questions one by one. To find the absolute error of measurement, for this eraser, we know that it's five centimeters and it's right on the line, so we can say it's 5.0 centimeters. But what is the absolute error of this measurement? Well, the absolute error is the greatest possible error. In other words, your measurement could be wrong. For example, this eraser could be 4.95 centimeters. This is the lower bound. Or it could be 5.05 centimeters. This is the upper bound. Even whatever the length is, uh, it would still be called 5.0 centimeters using this ruler. So the absolute error of measurement is equal to plus or minus a half of the smallest measurement. And you can see on this ruler, the smallest measurement is 0.1 of a centimeter. So the absolute error equals half times the precision of the ruler in this case. The smallest measurement on the ruler is 0.1 centimetres, so the absolute error of measurement is plus or minus 0.05 centimetres. Well, how do we find the corresponding limits of accuracy? The limits of accuracy show the measurement with the error. With the ruler that has the smallest unit of 0.1 centimetres, the limit of accuracy for the eraser is five centimeters plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. We write that as 5.0 plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. The eraser could be 4.95 centimeters to 5.05 centimeters, but not including 5.05 centimeters because the upper limit will say would be closer to 5.1. Well, what are the different types of errors? When we take a measurement of an object, it is never exact. It may be an inaccurate measuring device, for example, using a beaker to measure 4.5 millilitres instead of using a measuring cylinder, or using a ruler with centimetre marking to measure an object 64 millimetres long. There may be a fault in the measuring device. For example, a ruler may be broken or missing some numbers or digital scales for measuring mass may not be zeroed. There may be human error, for example, not reading the scale correctly, or not looking at the mark on the scale at right angles and having an error of reading. How do we calculate the percentage error of a me measurement? The percentage error of a measurement is the size of the absolute error as a percentage of the measurement. And we use this formula. Percentage error equals absolute error over measurement times 100, and then we put a percent sign. For example, the eraser has a percentage error equal to plus or minus 0 0.05 over 5, and then we times by 100%. 
that gives us a percentage error of plus or minus 1%. Now here's a task for you. Use your ruler to measure the length of your textbook, just the length, but then determine, looking at your ruler, what is the absolute error of measurement. Then find the limits of accuracy of this measured length. And then what is the percentage error for this measured length? Well, best wishes with that little task. So we've been able to find the absolute error of measurements. We've seen there are different types of errors and we've been able to calculate the percentage error of measurements. In our next video in this series, we'll have a look at surface areas and volumes. I'm Mr. Mac. Thanks for watching.